My name is Faith Hohalter. I am the children's book. I am a children's book buyer. I work at a junior high library. I am also the chair of the literature advisory committee for a national literary nonprofit called Kids Need to Read, and I also do freelance content editing. And I am Brandy Stewart. I am a children's book buyer for Changing Hands Bookstore, and I also do freelance editing. And we are here to talk to you about book buying. Why we buy what we buy, what uh, sort of decisions uh, influence us. Right, absolutely. And uh, one of the most common questions we get is, come on, do you really judge a book by its cover? And the answer is, yes, yes we do. We do. <laughs> <laughs> we do because you do. We do because kids do. Uh, it, a cover has to be appealing to a child. I mean, take picture books, for example. If it's a little girl you have that really likes frilly things, then anything pink with glitter on it is yes, sparkly. <laughs> right. Sparkly books sell. Right. You know, and boys, you know, especially, you know, junior high boys, they like stuff with lots of, you know, a book that looks like it's going to be a lot of action. If it's got robots on the cover. Or Aliens. Or monsters. Or dragons. <laughs> You know, a book, if there's a book we're looking at and we're not sure, we're kind of on the fence about, if it's got an amazing cover, we're more likely to take a chance on it. Right. So, but a cover is not the only thing that uh, we think about, that we look at when we are buying books. You know, we also look at authors. Authors. Is it an established author? Is it a debut author? Established authors can make it easier to uh, buy a book because... You know, if they have a series or other books, you can track their sales history and see if that that book was more likely to sell as well. Right, and we also look at you know the content of the book. What you know, what is the genre? You know, is it you know dystopian is really huge right now. If it's just dy dystopian, you know that's the current trend. You know, we might be more likely to give it a chance if you right. know. Right. Right. And uh, as book buyers, publishers send us advanced copies of book that we call them arcs. And we try to read as many as we can, but, I mean, there's a lot, so... We can't if, read them all. <laughs> right, we can't read them all, so if we can't read the whole book, then we at least try to read the first two covers, because, well, that's how kids read, you right. know? Right, the, you know, we work with a lot of kids, and oftentimes we live, you know, we live in an instant gratification society, so a lot of times, you know, kids... If they don't like the first page, they well, the won't. the first five sentences. Right. <laughs> they won't want to finish it. So we try to read the first couple of chapters just to see, sort of get a Writing feel. style. Right. What the genre, is it going to be an action book or, you know, is it going to hold the kids' interest? Yeah. Yeah. Whether it's boys or girls, you know, we try and, and pay attention to that. Um, we also look at the publisher's support. What kind of marketing campaign is the publisher planning on doing for a book? Are they doing a group tour? Are they sending their debut authors out on a tour? Are they doing a floor display? Or a dump. We call <laughs> floor displays dumps. Yes, it's, it's the <laughs> store's term. Um, if, but, yeah. Right, if a publisher is going to send an author on a you know, five city tour, and then they're going to do a blog tour, and then they're going to send them to, you know, a book conference, like Book Expo America, right. and they're going to do a floor display. You know, all of that lends itself to our decision. You know, the more... If they're excited about it, then we should probably pay attention. Right, right, absolutely. Right. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, those are just a few of the things that we look at for buying books. Um, and we also wanted to talk to some of the debut authors out there. We know a lot of the Bright on Con audience is debut authors or new, you know, maybe just one book out or whatever. And we wanted to give you a couple of tips that we have learned over the years um, that will guarantee you success. <laughs> That's right. Uh, our first tip is to go out there and make your local bookstore 
whether it be a chain or an independent store and your li your local library, make them your best friend. The you know your local bookseller, your local librarian, they are on the front lines. They are the ones putting those books in the hands of those readers, even if they're you know be the readers adults, be the readers kids. Your local bookseller, your, your local librarian, friend. right? Your make them your best friend. friend. They are the ones who are hand selling your book, right? <laughs> and our second tip is to learn how to talk about your book. Right, absolutely. I mean, I know it's going to sound weird, but you got to learn how to pimp yourself out. I mean, if you, right, if you aren't excited about your book, then it's a good chance that very few others are going to be excited about your book. And that is our time. Thank you for writing in and tuning in. And uh, once again, my name is Faith Hohalter, and you can find me at um, online at IamTheBookBabe.com and I am Brandi Stewart and you can find me at EditorGenie.com and thank you very much. Thank you.